Good morning, good evening. Oh, good afternoon, my beautiful people. My name is Delbert Richardson. I'm a second generation storyteller and I'm a community scholar. I am so glad that you allowed me to come into your home today. We're gonna to take a journey down black history. But first, I want to introduce you to some of your rich history through the lens of your ancestors. Math, science, engineering is so critically important, but did you know that someone that looked like you and I was the first documented physician and architect? And by the way, an architect is someone who built. His name was Imhotep. He was the first documented and physician of the entire world. And the next board I want to introduce you to is this one here. And this is a glider. How many of you guys have made a paper airplane before? And how many of you have kind of like challenged your friend to see who's playing with fly the farthest? Well, if you think about that, our ancestors were thinking the same thing. They were using their imagination to say, birds are flying. What if we flew? So this is a glider that was 2,000 years ago. Yes. 2,000 years ago. And last but not least, this is a storyboard that's called The Birthplace of the Modern Mind. And it talks about not just us inventing math. Yes, we invented math, but we also invented the first steam engine. This is our history. This is our rich, rich history of the shoulders we stand on. But guess what? Let me share with you how this rich history is impacting us right now, today. You want to go on a journey with me? Come on, let's go. Hello, beautiful people. I'm back. Yes, we've just left ancient Egypt. It's more specifically Mother Africa. And now let me share with you how your ancestors' amazing brilliance have impacted today's world. I want to share with you a few black inventors. So on this table are some everyday items that people look like you and I invented. So this is a doorknob. Now you may think this is a paintbrush. No, it's actually called a caster that fits on the bottom of a bed, but also on the bottom of an office chair that allows you to move around without getting up. Here's a gas mask. Ice cream scoop. Fire extinguisher. And last but not least, this is one of the favorites. It's a super soaker. But guess what? There's more. If you look back at these amazing people back here, you got Mark Dean. He's responsible for PC technology, which stands for personal computer. You have Mr. Norbert Rollo, which is responsible for sugar refinery process. The handheld computer. Miss Donna August, and last but not least, Mr. Lonnie Johnson, that not only invented the super soaker, but took the money he made and did spacecraft controls. Here are some other amazing inventions that were made and invented by someone who looks like you and I. This is a fountain pen. This has a, what they call a quill tip that actually has ink that comes out. This is not a ballpoint pen, it's called a quilt pen or a fountain pen. These are curling irons. This was used to curl your sister or your daughter or your mother's hair so it would be nice and pretty. This is a rolling pen. This was used during baking when you make cookies or cakes it would make the dough nice and smooth, even biscuits, so they could go into the oven. 
And this is a cell phone. And so we, somebody, you and I invented one of the cells inside the phone. We didn't invent the phone, but our invention made the phone possible. And we have here the straightening comb that gave women more options for styling their hair. Now in closing, I wanna share with you a few amazing inventors that have changed the world. Mr. Jan Menslinger, he was responsible for shoe manufacturing. Miss Patricia Collins, she helped develop one of the space first astronaut training suits. Mr. James E. West, Modern Microphone, and Mr. Granville T. Woods, Electric Train Systems. Yes, we are amazing. And I want to read to you one of my favorite books. And it's called, I Love My Skin. Boy, do I love the skin I'm in. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? I see the skin God gave me. Whether you're dark, light, or somewhere in between. You should know exactly what I mean. You should know what it means to love who you are. Whether you're a teacher or a movie star, an entrepreneur or a scientist, or a girl or a boy. Your skin should always bring you joy. This beautiful skin so nice and smooth. This beautiful skin puts me in a good mood. I love it so much, I wanna shout. If you love your skin, you should know exactly what I'm talking about. In closing, please remember the history journey I just took you on. Your amazing ancestors and what they created to the modern day inventions and inventors that's behind me. I love who I am, and the goal is for you to love who you are. We are some amazing people. Thank you.